Me. Well, an East Tennessee soldier will be laid to rest hours from now at Arlington National Cemetery. Army, Army Staff Sergeant Ryan Canals died protecting others in the final days of the war in Afghanistan. On August 26, a suicide bomber targeted the crowd at the airport in Kabul, killing Ryan and 12 other American troops. The Knoxville native was the final casualty of the 20 year war with Afghanistan. Ryan's family is in Washington, D.C., preparing for a final military salute. Arlington's 600 acres holds the graves of more than 400,000 with military burials dating back to the 1860s. 10 News anchor Robin Wilhoyt has a look at that hallowed ground steeped in history and tradition. Arlington National Cemetery is called the Nation's Cemetery for a reason. Presidents, dignitaries, and generations of service members dating back to the Revolutionary War are buried here and forever remembered. History is rooted in these rolling hills of Arlington National Cemetery, a place where more than 400,000 lives will forever be remembered for their indelible mark on America. High above the white headstone sits Arlington House, a reminder of its past. George Washington Park Custis, the adopted grandson of President George Washington, first owned the land. His daughter, married to Confederate General Robert E. Lee, inherited the estate. The couple abandoned the property during the Civil War. It was seized by the U.S. Army on May 24, 1861, in an effort to defend Washington, D.C. On May 13, 1864, Private William Christman was the first soldier buried on the property. A month later, Arlington was officially recognized as the nation's cemetery. On that day, it covered 200 acres. Today, the cemetery stretches 640 acres. Across the expanse now rests the Tomb of the Unknowns, a memorial to the unidentified service members of the World Wars and Korean and Vietnam conflicts. It's continually watched by the old guard the Army's elite ceremonial unit. Two U.S. presidents are interred at Arlington, William Howard Taft and John F. Kennedy, whose burial site is marked by an eternal flame. Supreme Court Justices Thurgood Marshall and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, NASA's John Glenn and members of the doomed space shuttle Challenger are all memorialized. Big Band's Glenn Miller and Hollywood's Audie Murphy immortalized for their service in World War II. Names of the U.S. military's greatest leaders etched in stone. They're surrounded by thousands of markers with carved names that will never be known by the masses, but they will forever be remembered for their service and sacrifice.